Whoa. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. What's happening? Is it gonna launch me? <laughs> awesome. Wow. What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I know how to jump, I know how to jump. I know some commenters have been saying I don't know how to jump. I know, I know how to jump. I can also run. This is how you run, okay, I got it. I kinda wish the, the, the buttons were closer together. Anyway, <laughs> how you doing? A new milestone, by the way. We hit 10,000 likes in the first episode. It's now over 200,000 views. It's amazing, it's been like a day. Thank you for your support. Scorpus, what's up, dude? Oh. Sorry, I didn't greet you properly when you first arrived here, Link. I was just so relieved to see you. My name is Scorpus. I've been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, any at all, come right to me. I'll answer as best I can. Oh. Now, please allow me to open up the emergency shelter. <laughs> what? <laughs> just exactly what I wanted to have happen. Is, is there, we could have used it during the Blood Moon thing. That was scary. No. Hey, it's me. Open up. All right. Open up indeed. Let's see what's going on here. So yeah, thank you guys for subscribing. Thanks for your support. We picked up a lot of new subscribers. Uh, it's, it's I love this time of the of the season when a new amazing new game comes out, and here I am playing it. And you guys are watching. It's perfect. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Yeah. Uh, what do you have down here? Lego. Oh no, nope, wrong button. Let's just go. Boom. Emergency shelter. What's up, dude? Uh -huh. Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Uh -huh. Indeed, this place was originally used by the royal family as a safe haven in times of need. It's quite old, so we've been fixing it up as we go, you see. At this point, we've stockpiled some supplies, and I find it to be downright cozy. There's that word, cozy. What are you doing here? I, Monty, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. My tasks involve taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. A noble task Aye. indeed. Watch your footing when, you, when using the ladder. If only one could go straight through the ceiling rather than <laughs> using a tiresome ladder. <laughs> but I digress. Yeah, I kind of wish I could use it in reverse too. That would be really cool. Wow, this, wow, what is this place? Holy cow. Okay, let's talk to the sweeper. Look at all the dust. Oh. It's Jaren. Hey, I know that face. And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. Mm. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning it in here, and there's still endless amounts of dust. Well, I know the problem. The problem is that you're just moving it around. You're not scooping it up into anything. You're just moving it around. Mm. Where does all this dust even come from anyway? Makes me want to get the, uh, the 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 gust bellows or whatever from Skyward Sword. What's up? Mm. So you're Link, huh? Some of the soldiers were just telling me. As a simple man from Luralin, I'm a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. Oh. Luralin Village. It's a fishing town in East Nekluda, far to the southeast. Used to be a popular resort thanks to its sandy white beaches and its gorgeous views of the sparkling sea. Aww. Then we got attacked by pirates. Now no one's living there, let alone running the shops. But listen to me getting all gloomy. There is an upside. If not for the pirates, my wife and I wouldn't have come here. I should just shut my trap and enjoy the charms of Lookout Landing. Aww. I feel like such a fish out of water here. There's a whole lot of world outside my little village. We gotta do something about those pirates. They're talking about it. Remnants from the Zonai civilization have started popping up all over. This calls for the Zonai survey team. Well, it should call for that, but instead they've got me hanging out here until further notice. I've even spent loads of hours memorizing everything in the Zonai survey team book over there. Guess the best thing to do now is to stay on top of the, of the news in each region, so I'm even more prepared when the call comes. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. The Rito are all over the newspaper lately. They live out in the Heber region, if I recall. It's in the so snowfields of Northwest Hyrule. Some surveyors grouse about going there because of how cold it is. When all they need to do is bring proper gear and supplies for cold resistance and go to the Rito Inn and sleep on a luxurious fluffy down bed. Mm. Sigh, I know it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they'd send me out on a survey already. 
Do, anything else to say, or can I? Mm -hmm. Phrasing to yeah, okay. So we we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I just wanted to know if they do double duty. Is there any newspaper? Today in the Lucky Clover Gazette, mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval. With Pura as their leader, the Zonai survey team begins thorough investigations the world over. Huh. Guess this paper is a little old. <laughs> What's going on over here? Oh. It's the same Hyrulean script and yet so different from our modern language. I still have a lot to learn, huh? Hmm? It's Wartsworth. Don't tell me. Based on your stature, physique, and distinct diff right arm. You must be Link. Am I right? Pyrrha has told me so much about you. I'm Wordsworth. My research specialty is ancient Hyrulean. Mm. And by ancient Hyrulean, I don't mean the text found in the ring ruins, but something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Our modern language is built on that foundation. Mm. These books here are written in that ancient tongue. They look like gibberish to your average Hyrulean. Are you curious about ancient Hyrulean? I don't have anything to show you as things stand right now. Mm. But I'm sure I'll absolutely someday. <laughs> I don't know where the word absolutely came from. I'm, sometimes when I'm reading, I just like insert words. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll someday have uh, results posted and ready for all to see at the lab in Kakariko Village. Great. Holy cow. There's a lot to take in here. Whoa, there's a book even. What does this say? Read the Zonai Survey Team's three big ideas. Sure. Let's read. Okay. The mysterious ruins that appeared due to the upheaval with strange dome-like protrusions we're calling shrines. They are believed to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. What about chasms? Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They released gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Josa, uh, jo Joshua. I don't know how to say that. I still don't know how to say that. I, I recorded this before I uploaded the, the episode previously. So if you guys have the pronunciation, just let me know. Jos Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> the leader of the Chasm Surveys. Our team's purpose. We are the Zonai Survey Team. We of the Zonai survey, survey Team were founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to study ruins and ancient documents. Uh, through the lens of archaeological understanding, it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many ruins from the Zonai civilization came crashing down from the sky. We have known very little of the Zonai, but we may now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Toro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. Our current surveys are wholly focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research results are shared out to specialists at the base of in Kakariko Village. Great. I'm, uh, what, like 10% done with this <laughs> room? I don't know if it's taking forever. What's up? Oh. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name's Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have fruit and mushroom mix that'll rev you right up. Uh. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but... I'm plum out of apples. If I don't have any most, if I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to rich, full flavor. Mm, my nose is detecting an aroma, a sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Take this. Is this a side quest I'm already doing? That's amazing. Wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. Great. What's he making for me? There we go. I don't even see it yet. There we go. What is it? What'd you give me? <laughs> Ha ha! I'm calling it Bermano's special fruit and mushroom mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? It just called fruit and mushroom mix. I feel like I would have made that already. I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. Sweet and savory. There you go. I got a side quest done. Cool. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh. Oh, hey, is that you, Link? I've been nose down, so I don't know what's happening around me half the time. This is pretty involved, so I'm going to keep sitting here while I wrench on this. You might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all of the weapons decayed. Oh, really? All of them decayed? Wow. I poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no use. Oh. Yeah, just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes. Oh. It was all pretty wild, and I don't understand how it happened. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most things. Oh, oh yeah. In case nobody has mentioned yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though they probably won't be much of use to you since, you know, you guessed it, decayed. 
All right, weapons. I'll, I'll take them though. Uh, this is a Boko Reaper, and this is a Traveler Sword, decayed, of course. Uh, what's up with you? Atmos. Hmm. Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all my attention. Are you interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on a deployment with the monster control crew, I spend hours poring over our maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in lookout landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. Various peoples? Aside from us Hylians, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. Mm. We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. The leader of Lookout Landing, Pura, is from the Sheikah tribe. Oh. Hyrule has eight major places that its various people call home. All right, let's learn about those really quick. I mean, if you've seen Breath of the Wild, you might know this stuff already, but... Let's see how Tears of the Kingdom explains it. Lookout Landing is located here in Central Hyrule. Up northwest of here, there's Rito Village in, in Hebra. That's the Gerudos right there. There's the Gerudo Town that's located in the southwest in the Gerudo region. You'll find Goron City in the northeast uh, in Elden. Travel a bit further east and you'll come across Terry Town in Akala. Not too far from there is Zora's Domain. That's within the Laneru region. Hmm. Continuing to the southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called Nakluda. Within this cluster, you'll find that uh, you'll find Kakariko Village, where the Sheikah live. I hear that the village leader is quite lovely. If you're seeking a tranquil spot, Hateno Village is worth a visit. I also hear it's become Hyrule's center of fashion. Finally, there's Lurulin Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. Or it was. Uh, Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the people, uh, peoples of Hyrule, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone, everywhere. What about you? Uh, I work with the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting everyone from monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval, but I'm not really the most skilled in combat, so instead I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should make deployments. Goodbye. There's been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful out there. This is a very big lore episode <laughs> that we're recording right now. Oh, let me pray. This would be it, like if I had some extra energy, I'd probably get a heart or like a stamina boost or something. Uh, you have conquered. Yeah, I know. I can offer you great power, but you, I do not have four. Yeah, I know. I know. I'll, I'll do more shrines eventually. Not, not, I, I probably won't do a shrine this episode. Maybe next episode we'll jump back into shrines. Um, I'm done. I'm really done. Oh. Link, right? It's Dion. You are. You really are that Link guy, aren't you? I heard folks talking about you, and your face matches the one on the poster. Oh, sorry. You wanted a bed, yeah? You can go ahead and take whatever empty bed you like. Uh. Nap and sleep talking is nap and sleep talking is particularly audible here, so you'll probably want a bed a little farther from him. He said nap, and I was thinking about napping, like the verb. His physical condition has been deteriorating ever since he investigated one of the chasms. That's despite how long he's been back, which has been quite a while. He still hasn't made much of a recovery. Oh. The upheaval created massive openings in the land known as chasms. In fact, there's one nearby just beneath, beneath Hyrule Castle and another to the south of Lookout Landing. But if you go plumbing those depths, you'll come across plenty of gloom. You touch that stuff and your health will take a turn for the worse. Oh. Anyway, there's a young girl named Josh, Josha. <laughs> Josha. Josha. I'm just going to say Josh. I don't know who's been heading up investigations into the chasms. Despite her age, she's been landing the charge, leading the charge. Pretty remarkable, if you ask me. This dude's, is that napping? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Not going near chasms anymore. Nasty gloom. It's everywhere, making everyone sick, making me sick. Glad I ate that yellow plant stuff from the gloom specialist. Any more gloom and I'll be, and I'd be canoeing down old Death River. Uh, Worked my tail off for Joshua. Kid runs circles around Pura and Robbie. She loves research, me. I'm sick to death of chasm research. At least I'm starting to feel better, but I think I'll lie low, keep lying here. All right, well, we've, we've fully explored this area. This place was fun. They said I'm free to use anything here, but there's not much here. <laughs> maybe I can cook. I mean, maybe that's one difference. Anyway, we can now leave or, 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 there you go. I mean, we're still leaving, but I wanted to do it like this. There you go. Surprise. 
All right, we're back at Lookout Landing, and I am supposed to go over here. Is my car still here? My car is still here. I, I don't know if it'll still be there when I leave and come back, but let's just see what happens. I'm going to go over here, and uh, I know how to run. I know how to run. It's just I don't have a lot of stamina, so I choose not to, right? That's, that's the real reason. Oof, water. Do You know, I should have cooked. I, I should have cooked. Honestly, I should have cooked. Let's go back in really quick. No, I, I'll be fine. I'm not going to get hurt. <laughs> how much food do I have? Oh, I do have food. Never mind. I don't need to cook. I'm good. What are you, what are you guys looking at? Even Pura stumped. What's up? Mm. It's hard to believe that these ruins just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends, and now they're here. It's also strange, huh? Oh. Yeah, it sure is, but it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not, not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Mm. Well, Pyrrha is investigating the upheaval. She's certain it'll provide clues about Princess Zelda, but progress isn't great, I've heard. Oh. Is the princess all right wherever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional, but really, who cares about that in a time like this? I'm curious about what's up here, <laughs> what you guys are looking at, huh? I'm, I'm gonna go take a look. Maybe there's a treasure. Maybe there's, well, there's this. This thing came down, I guess. Hello. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and produce energy wells. Get producing a uh, hundred. I don't have a hundred. I don't even have, I have 10. I wanna see what's up here. Wow, look at that. What is that tower? I just realized there's a huge tower there. All right. So, one sec. Before we go find Princess Zelda or go to the Hyrule Castle or whatever, I want to see what this is all about. Can I just go in? Yeah. So, here's the thing. What the heck is this? Pose. Pose. What in the world is that? I didn't realize how tall this was. I want to see if I can get to the top somehow. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I have everything, but I have Ascend. Oh, no. Never mind. Waste of time. Let's leave. And then let's go to where we need to go in order to investigate this whole Zelda's business. And that is up here. I, I know I can run. I can run. I don't, wait, hold on. Here's a question. I have the Boca Reaper, which is pretty powerful. How? how hmm. I don't know if I need to fuse it with something. All right, here we go. There's a shrine right there. I think the question's going to be, like, when should I do shrines? Should I do them, like, on my way? Or should I just... Should I wait? I think I want to progress a little bit. I want to do this whole thing that Pura wants me to do. And then I'll have plenty of time to do shrines. It's been a long time since I've been here. But I remember. I remember fighting some things here that were pretty uh, remarkable. There's a bunch of things to make cars with. Here for you. Even wet. When wet? What? Ack. And my name's Zach. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Darn it all. President Hudson, are you okay? What? What is this guy? Oh no, what have I done? All right, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault, startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable. Who's President Hudson? You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he is also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that... Sorry, what's all this? Hey, I'm right in the middle of, of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What, I was, what was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around, but President Hudson gave me an extra special mission, and that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everybody know that Hudson Construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs that you can clearly see. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail, noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over, even in rainy weather. And so, I pledge to support him. 
don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Whoa, unforgivable. <laughs> what? President Hudson, I'll support you. Okay, so he's just going to stay there, I guess. See, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could I... Is the is the goal to build something to hold this sign up? Uh, I think the question will be: Is that even possible? I don't know. Let's find out. I have an idea, if if I need to. So let me go look at my my altar hand. Let's see. How tall is that sign? Oh, wow. I don't think I can attach it to this. Whoa. Something just fell down over there. Did you guys see that? I don't know where, but something just fell down. I can barely run. I literally don't know how far it is. I don't know if I'm going to see it. You know what I mean? Like, I I saw it fall down. What was that? What was this? That's a rock. Uh, Look, I'm not, I may not be able to find whatever happened here. But you guys saw it, right? I literally don't know where it is. You would think it'd be glowing or something. Okay, well, it's cool to get a view of this area, I suppose. Is this, is this it? No. I don't think this is it. I don't know what I saw. Alright, let's get back. It's raining really heavy. I'm glad there are no monsters out here. It wouldn't be on my map, would it? I guess not. All right. I don't know if I'm supposed to figure out how to hold that sign for him or or what. I saw something fall. I, it could have been like way far. Like I I kind I kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye, but I saw it. I think, or I'm going crazy. That's the other option. I was thinking about building something to hold that sign up. But I don't know if that's really what I'm supposed to do. I suppose I could put something under it and then see if it holds up well enough that he's comfortable moving on. And then maybe that's like mission successful. Or I'm overthinking it. That's the other option. So let me... Uh, let me grab... Let me grab... Uh, let me grab this. <laughs> And then, sure. Uh, there you go. That's not going to fall over. Oh, you're that guy before. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. All right, let go. It's not going to fall. He, he's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I, I would have never thought of it. All right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. That was great. That's not, I actually was supposed to do that. So I, I'm i a genius at this game. That's apparently what it, what it means is that I'm a brilliant game player. Perfect. With your help. President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Oh, rupees. I need those to buy armor and stuff. Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Veggie rice balls. Gross. <laughs> no, uh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. 
a sleepover ticket, a lodging voucher for a regular stable bed, a reward for collecting pony points, spend it at a stable to get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. Ah. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Great. I'm helped. I helped. It's just funny that that sign took so much reinforcement. <laughs> but it worked. And, uh, oh, this is like a camp. Is there anything to do at this camp? I mean, is this a full camp, empty camp? I mean, I definitely see, you know, a potential for sleeping. Oh, a freaking lizard, dude. Am I supposed to just... Let's see if I can catch it. I tell lizard. Caught him. Hold on, there's some, oh, there's some weapons here. Great. Traveler's spear. Traveler's claymore. Oh, I can't carry any more weapons. I can probably get rid of uh, some of my other things, like the long stick. Or how about let's drop this one. Let's uh, drop an axe. I don't need so many axes. And let's drop a, a long stick. And maybe, uh, I feel like if we need a torch, we can get a torch later. Traveler's Claymore is mine. Uh, the shield is mine. It's a pot lid. Okay. I don't know if I want a pot lid. Um, and then uh, there was a nut in here. A couple nuts. And so I just raided a campsite. I don't know if that's good karma or what. Oh, there's a shrine there. I'll go when, when I do that shrine. I'll go talk to that guy. I kind of want to do the main mission for just a little bit. What's this? Pura has sent urgent orders from the lookout landing for all of us on the monster control crew. As Hyrule Castle continues to float, she's tasked with us searching the area beneath it for Princess Zelda and her protector. Be aware that the gloom is spread even more in this area. Prepare yourself before you depart, Captain Hawes. I'm prepared, dude. I think. Uh, traveler sword and another shield. A traveler shield. I can't carry any more shields. Uh, let's take a look at the shields. Flame emitter shield. That's pretty cool. Let's drop one of these old wooden shields. I guess my shield inventory is quite limited. Traveler's shield. And then what kind of weapon? Do I think I have a good weapon. Maybe I'll stick with... Uh, well, let's just, let's just go with the best. We have the best weapon right now. Let's stick with it. All right. What's going on? Can barely see a thing. I know it's raining. Oh, no. No, no, no. More gloom or whatever. Link, is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watch duty here this whole time, and I didn't see you at all. Mm -hmm. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Hawes doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill past the lower gates. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. Is it is it like going to be a blood moon again? Can I Can I tame this? No. Don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> he's, he's getting away. That's okay. Alright. We can run a little bit. Tell my stamina runs out. So is this this isn't just gonna open, is it? No. Of course not. I guess I could climb, maybe. Alrighty. And then I can take a little rest here, I think. And then... Climb again. And then let's go around. Alright. So that's a way over the gate, obviously. Um, just trying to see if there's any. Okay, let's let's just. Uh... Oh, jeez! Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, uh, huh? Who's there? It's me. I've hurt myself. Hey, this area is off limits. While we were while we conduct conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that. Link, is it It's you? I'm sorry. I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need to search the party anymore? Huh? You should go talk to Captain Hawes. He's leading the search efforts uh, here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find him at the very end of this road. Okay, I need to eat. I already hurt myself. And I'll probably just 
you know, chow down on a few apples or something. These are, yeah. There you go. Back at it again. So we can run up here. I can only run so far. I don't know what to, if I should go for health or stamina first. Also, I don't know if I should be like searching around here or if I should just keep moving. It's a cool view of everything. Oh, there we go. Is it? This is him, right? All right. This is Sharsh. <laughs> Link? No, it can't be. I can't allow anyone past here. Ooh. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need the permission from the captain. He should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. Are you kidding me? I'll do it, but I mean, like, for real, I'm Link. I'm here searching for Princess Zelda. What do you think I am? There's, there's that weird funnel vortex thing over there. This, this is familiar. I mean, we're going through areas that, you know, we went through towards the end of the game last game. Oh. We've turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. Huh? You're the spitting image of Link. I bet if Captain Hawes saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. Uh, here's another traveler's shield. Can't carry more, but it's more powerful, right? Hold on. It's more powerful, so I could drop... I mean, I kind of want to drop this one, but let's drop this one. Because this one's not as good. Um, do I have any hammers? I don't. I don't know. Sure, arrows, good. I do kind of remember this. Go to the top. Uh, doesn't really seem to be a good reason to be here, so go back down. I wonder if you could suffer fall damage from. That'd be funny if you like. I would just fall all the way down. All right, let's go. Are you the captain? No, he's too busy, I guess. Oh. Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, I mean, a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway, but the captain is way up on the top of the gatehouse there. He doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. All right, so if he's just, if he's up there, is that what you're saying? Is he like, first gatehouse. All right, this is interesting, I suppose. There's a torch. I don't know if I need torches. I kind of need some hammers or something. <clears throat> Just like I thought, the weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? Ooh. Nice hat. Hey, it's a new face. Uh. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of the weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. Oh. They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. I mean, I'll take more weapons. Soldier's Spear. And Soldier's Broadsword. Awesome. And then now, I mean, I guess you're saying he's up top, right? So I would just use Ascend, probably. Is it too high? Let me climb first. There we go. All right. Is that you? Oh. <laughs> I finished up my search around here, and I'm ready for my next instructions, but Captain Hawes is kind of on edge. I don't want to bother him. Is he, like, literally on the edge? Like, where is he? I think you should bother him. I think I'm going to bother him if I can find him. Is he up at the very top? I guess he is. Makes sense. Let me just climb it, then. Hip, hip. 
All right, let's be cautious here because this looks a little, little dangerous. All right, where is the captain? When you say he's on edge, what is that? Is he at the very top? I'm so confused as to where this captain actually is. <laughs> I don't know where the captain is. Oh, that might be him down there. Oh, But you know, I'm actually curious now. Is there like maybe a Korok up here or something? Like there's a peak. I, I don't know if I have enough. Hold on, I don't know if I can rest. I would like to just be able to stand here for a second, so let go. All right. Can I climb the peak? Yeah, there's gonna be something. I knew it. I've. I knew it. I think I knew it. I mean, when's that gonna activate? There it is. I. I just knew there would be a Korok up here. You found me. I. How did I know? It's because I'm a genius. <laughs> talk. Why would I talk? Bye bye. Exactly. Uh. Oh gosh. Okay. Where's Mr. Captain? Where? I saw him. Is that him? Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? It's me, Link. Is that you? You're alive. And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. No, it doesn't mean that at all, actually. Oh. Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search? I, I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Oh. I'm relieved to see you came up here and help, uh, uh, came up here and help us out though we need some good news the sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming our work carries on but we've been a bit dead in the water oh captain it's princess zelda what you see him see her already oh wow this princess zelda hmm? princess zelda she's safe <laughs> safe is a word i don't know if it's true oh wow she's levitating no don't just why there she goes. Why is she going back up? You're killing me. Wait, what? <laughs> you saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This this is an emergency situation. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pyrrha know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must go tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. All right, I will. Where was she exactly? You're like, there she is, and then she lived. Was it over here? If so, I want to like kind of investigate for myself. It, she, it was right over there, right? Like on top of that? I want to go see if she left anything behind. I mean, I don't know if she w would have, but I'm curious. I don't know if she would have. It may not make sense to. Here, let me just. All right. I know I got to go back to Pura or whatever, but I think she was over there. Am I? Am I right? Whoa! There's a pinwheel up here. At the very least, I'm glad I came here for this. Uh, vines. Are, they, are these called pinwheels? What are you supposed to do with these, by the way? I totally forget. Does it just touch them? Oh, no, it's... Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait a second. There's another one. Wait, come back. Nailed it. Hope that arrow doesn't hit someone. Is there an, there's another one? Did I see one? Yeah, I did. There you go. A Korok. You found me. That I did, that I did. I have nine Korok seeds. Maybe by the time I meet Hesto, I'll have at least 10. I don't know. 
So I think if I if I was reading it correctly, or understanding what we were looking at correctly, <laughs> that Zelda was not here, but over there at that tower. Either that, or I totally misread the situation. Uh, let's run a little bit. If she really did disappear from here, I kind of want to see what's going on. Is, do I have to make a bridge to go across? I might have to. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I do. And again, I could have misread the situation in, in terms. Of, I could have like misunderstood where where she actually was, but I think that was over here. And if I don't see anything, I don't see anything. It's fine. Give me a lizard, lizard, lizard. There's so many shrines around here. It, was so, it felt like it's so pointless to have marked the ones I did mark because it's. Oh, hold on, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. All right, now. There's a bunch of rocks. That's weird. Okay. Well, oh wow, there's a, one of the wizards, wizard robes. Oh man, I guess, let me take one of these weapons here. And I, I wanna, I wanna get, get me kind of a hammer thing back in order. All right, I don't know what the deal is with this though. I don't know, like. This is clearly, I mean, clearly they marked it here. Oh, actually, I have, oh my god. Can I, can I not, can I? Okay, this sucks. How do I, I think I was supposed to use this rock to put, I think I was supposed to put the rock right here. Oh, great. How do, is it, how do I uninfuse? I, I literally don't know what to do. Uh, I feel like I need that rock now. Can I un undo this? There you go. Thank you. No, it's just gone now? <sighs> okay, well, dang it. <laughs> if I come back here, do you think this rock will be back here eventually? Maybe. I'll have to remember to, climb to be back here. I'm pretty sure that was like a puzzle that needs to be so... Okay, I'm fine. I'm pretty sure that I that I just I missed the opportunity to solve that puzzle uh, until that rock respawns or whatever, and that rock will probably respawn. But I, I fuse my weapon in it, and now I'm just uh, how far do I have to leave? Like like if, is it back already? You think? Because stuff does respawn pretty quickly, it seems. Let me let me run far enough away that I'm comfortable coming back. Or maybe I'll just be back later, honestly. I'll just be back later. You guys gotta re remind me to come back here. We need to get back to uh, Pura, which is over here. And I'm not sure the fastest way. Unless I had a flying thing, but then I would need... I guess I could try to fly off of here. I don't have a glider yet. All right, so I think the fastest way to peer out will be something along the lines of gliding off of here, maybe, and attaching a fan. So, let's get that stuff out. I got a wing, and I got a fan. I can't take it out here. Okay, of course not. That makes too much sense. A fan and a wing. All right. Gonna go up here. Nope, nope. Come back. Okay, you're coming back. Good, 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 good.
No! Dang it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get there quickly. I could have been there already if I would have just ran. If I would have just jumped off the building and ran, I probably would have been there already. But I am set on this. There's got to be a way to make a viable, make one of these viable without using the rails. So let me just take this. This is where my creative genius is going to shine. You're going to love it. So... <laughs> There's one. Look at this. This is going to be incredible. Two. And... Uh, we need some way to elevate it off of the... So that it's... Is that centered enough? That's centered enough. Probably. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly how I planned it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go, guys. I'm going to fly over. This has got to work. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be so disappointed. I actually kind of want to re... Here we go. Let go. This is... This is this, That's not going to run. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me redo this a little bit. Let me just shake that just a tiny bit. Glue it right there. There you go. A bit better. What the heck? What? Why did that fall? Okay, so th this needs to be re-glued. Hold on. Okay, reattach somewhere better, dude. Yeah, right there. Right there. Right in the middle. There you go. There you go. And then... Uh, then this is going to go in the front, I guess? I don't know. Uh, let's just try it. That's the wrong freaking... Wait, no, that's the right way. That's the right way. We're going to fly out of here, guys. I'm not... Wait. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Almost. Almost. Trial and error. Okay. I made the perfect device. Let's go. Oh, we're not even facing. We're not facing the right way, but we can lean. We can lean. We're flying. We're flying. Oh, no. Help. We're going to crash. Oh, it was too top heavy. Too top heavy. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> My brilliant invention. Okay, so it was too top heavy, but that's uh, you know, lesson learned. Let lesson learned. Let's, uh, let's just take this with us. I thought it was going to work. I really did. But we learned. It was too top-heavy. Oh, my God. What is this? Can I go down there? Here, just drop that for a second. I'll climb down. Oh. Okay, we're fine. Okay, so I, all I do now, I think, is I move this to the back. Right? Like, this is a good trajectory, right? Almost. This is the best trajectory right here. Why is it so rainy? Um... So it was somehow, I thought, I did not think it would be too top heavy, but it was somehow top heavy. So we're going to move this over to there now in the back. And then hopefully this works. I'm hoping that this works. Let's go. Let's do this. We got a plane. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We are flying. Why is the whole thing so top heavy? There we go. We have liftoff. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, go, wait, 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 don't crash, don't crash, fly, soar, yes, heck yes, heck yes, we have a freaking airplane, basically, as long as I lean way in the back, okay, great, <laughs> all right, we're gonna walk the rest of the way, I don't know, I, I, I'm new to this game, All right. Let's, uh, I haven't, you know, I've been really mixed on how to edit these because sometimes I really like to experiment. And so last episode, what I did is I put like, like 
I started working on a car and then 20 minutes later we were making progress. And so I put a note in the video so that people would know that they can skip if they want to. Maybe I should have done it for that part. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. But uh, yeah, let me know how you like the pacing in the comments below. This is really a little confusing to me. Um, I haven't really played a game like this where it encourages so much experimentation and you're like, well, how much do I want to put on camera? You know, for you guys to see, and I don't know what the answer to that is either. So, at least we got a plane sort of kind of working, and it was a thing of joy. And uh, let's just go up here. We will talk. Nope, we had it. We had it. She up here still? Surprise. Link, well, did you find anything? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if, you, if, what, if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval, for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off uh, to as we look around. Oh yeah, you've still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Now take a look at this Pura pad. It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. All right, I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing, and for that, we need our Sky View Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Sky View Tower right now? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. And then what? Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like a, I better get cracking. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick. Just uh, hang on tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency, the emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info... Yeah, so I already went there, believe it or not. My car is gone. Someone stole my car. Talk to the soldier who's watching over. I know. I know. I know. I actually already went in there. If you need clothing for your travels. Yeah, I don't have enough rupees for that. Mub shop, I've been there. Expensive. I'll be over by our Sky Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. All right, let's go to Skyview Tower. All right, Joshua, let's work for our on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc. You can count on me. All right, so crisis at high roll. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do this. I've already. I don't need to rest. I'm fine. Lookout landing, Skyview Tower. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, no. That's not quite it. This should do it. That should do it. Hey, Link. You all said I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or or it will be once you do your part. She looks like she's gonna hit me with that. We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Hey! All right, let's see what happens here. What's gonna happen? Wow, oh, it's all lit up. What is this? Whoa! Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, these are all over the the world. Yeah, what happened to like the towers before? Are they no longer here? Or are these have they replaced the towers? Like, what's the story? How long after Breath of the Wild is this? Nice. So we got flares there. Oh. All the Skyview towers have now been activated. Okay, Link, your turn. Go hold the Pura Pad over the terminal. All right. Let's see what happens. Is that a fast travel point? Like, what, it, what are we looking at here? Is it gonna launch me? 
All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Pira pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Pira pad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. The only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill, and nobody here had what it takes, to be honest. That's why we haven't tested this, this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Yes, a paraglider. I got my own paraglider. Now, apparently, like if you scan in the amiibo, you can get different paraglider designs. Uh, there will be a point in the future which I start scanning amiibo. I don't know when that should be, so let me know when you think it should be. Ah. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there into the circle. You'll find me afterward, all right? Huh. And I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. And the test, when the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck. All right, so do I stand here? I guess so. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, geez. What's happening? Is it going to launch me? <laughs> awesome. Wow. Very cool. It's, it's the longest data cable ever. <laughs> All right, surface map updated. Very cool. Sky map updated too. Very awesome. So now, I mean, I could open my glider if I want to, but I wish I had this earlier, honestly. This looks pretty cool. There's a chasm right there, I guess is what we're saying. Can I, can I just go over there? Is that something that I can just get to? Oh, I I have so much stamina for my glider. Never mind. I was glider right beforehand. I don't think I could have made it due to the stamina issue. What happens if I don't glide? I'm just kidding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna glide. She said she'd be in her lab, right? Oh, she'd be right here, over here. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Good, that map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You want to make a point of visiting them all. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomenon have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. All right. Yeah, way over there. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest, and finally there's Laneru to the east. The strange phenomenon are connect con concentrated in these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Um. Hey Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock into hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Ah. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking to the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. 
Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out that major phenomenon that are troubling regions all around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. <laughs> all right. What, what is she? Wait, she's lit up. What is she lit up about? What are, what are you? Hey, talk. Oh. Sorry, I can't talk now. There's something I got to discuss with with goggles right <laughs> right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. All right, so she's gonna go talk to goggles. Whoa, what? That's is that lit? Is that a tower over there? I don't know. I gotta find goggles. I want to see what ha. I mean, do I need to talk to her? Like. Ah, what a pleasant evening. Oh, it's you. You know that pure pad of yours may seem perfect, but it could even be more perfect. I'll need to head back to the lab when Josh has got the depths investigation sorted out. Aww. Come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? Uh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? Huh. I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into the chasm myself. No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only be barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end! <laughs> But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? Huh. Oh, Swordsman, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. It's Joshua. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Oh, wow. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that, that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Hmm. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous, and he won't let me go. Oh. Josh, come on now. Tell, tell you what. I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. Oh, what about Joshua? We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're, what we're looking for, we'll use your Pyrapad's camera to take a picture of it for Joshua. Perfect plan. Camera? You don't know about the camera? It's one of Pyrapad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as you... As an image, one that's stored on your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Pura pad. Well, then I'll teach you how to take pictures. Once we're down there, anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths, though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Alright, wait, hang on! I don't know. I feel bad for her, because she was the one who wanted to go. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped in all this, Swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. I got some bright bloom seeds. Nice. Oh, and take this too. Some arrows. Times five. The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach the bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of Lookout Landing's southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know how much, I don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after, look after goggles for me. So camera work in the depths, that's uh, one of the main quests. So I have a couple of quests to do, and uh, Josh is here. Want anything else? Yeah. Yeah, something great. Oh. All right, so she's looking for the figure or whatnot, and I think it's, yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below which one you want me to tackle first. I think I also need to do some shrines. I mean, there's a lot to do. Eventually, I'm gonna get caught up, and I, I need to do some shrines. Oh, can I mess with this? What is this? Hmm. So these balloon thingies that fell from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. But I've, I've talked to here. I've talked about this before. I don't think I can do anything with these particular ones. Yeah, I can't, but. Okay, so we had a lot of fun today. We experimented around a little bit with some airplane. It kind of sort of worked. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see. Actually, let me let me go. Maybe I'll go back over there and see if that stone is there. Does, it, does that sound fun? Let's do that really quick. 
All right, guys, I came back and the rock is not here. So I'm a little bit worried now because I was expecting to find the rock here and then to just stick it here and then like, complete the triangle. And uh, so we'll figure this out at a later date. But thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time for more. Maybe it'll respawn eventually, like maybe the blood moon or maybe I'll just have to bring a rock over here from somewhere else. Uh, but we'll figure out what that's all about. Leave a comment if you know. See you next time. For more, though, it's been fun. Goodbye, and thank you for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.